hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is Mahesh Karya you guys are watching me on YouTube now and in this session I'm gonna walk you through how to deploy your serverless application to Cloudflare directly so instead of using Cloudflare as a middleware you can deploy it directly to Cloudflare so they are enhancing the bunch of other features like the KV durable objects queues D1 SQL databases hyper drive bunch of other stuff is there for the ai guys as well so without wasting any time let's deep dive into it so all you have to do is open the cloudflare login with gmail and you are good to go there are a bunch of workers in here for the python and node developers especially uh, you can bring any one of the worker or you can use a cli tool i'm gonna use this cli tool i am uh, not gonna install any uh, global package so without having a global package you can directly use this command node should be there in order to run the npm application that's the only case even though if you are a python guy so just hit this command and you are good to go nothing else is needed all you have to do is choose a framework you can go with the framework starter application starter or uh, you can have the normal hello world application you can choose a hello world worker with durable objects for the state management they are using a durable objects and i'm gonna go with a normal hello world worker and you can choose a typescript javascript or python javascript is better it's installing dependencies in the background till then we are gonna look at the architecture what so uh, it's gonna install so so yeah it is asking for do you want to use a git version control i'll say yes that is a good thing do you want to deploy your application not now we'll deploy it later so let's run this project quickly let's go to the my first worker let's run this project and let's wait for the url so i'm getting this url now i'm gonna click in here so this is running locally so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna quickly uh, use the routing mechanism in here so all you have to do is of course you are not using an express in here because this is a serverless code we try to use a minimal code in here so for routing all you can do is define your url in here like new url and pass your uh, request url object in here so that's how you can use a switch case maybe uh, where you define your url dot path name and that path name will have the value like slash maybe and this response will be the part of here and you can grab this and you can create multiple uh, pages as much as you want for now i'm gonna have another page i can name it my page maybe or anything that you can name it in here so my page you can define your status code in here if you want like this so status can be 200 for all of them and in the default you can have anything that you want like 404 maybe in here 404 or 404 in here as well so this is it and all we have to do is wait for let's let's try to run this thing so i'm getting this let's try to run this my page so i'm getting my page in here let's try to deploy this let's stop this npm run deploy and let's wait for fragler so fragler is the cli tool that uh, they are providing and this is a toml file where you can configure a bunch of other stuff as well like connecting with the d1 sql uh, they have other mechanisms like the storage and all that you can explore this file later so this is the way of talking to other features or services provided by the cloudflare so uh this is it this is deployed already if i see this link got generated i'm gonna go in here and i'm gonna say my page so my page should appear in here this is secured provided uh https is already there so you don't have to worry about anything so it is deployed you can see logs in here as well so if i open this thing i should see my logs i'm getting this my page gate api which is which is expected and i'm getting a bunch of uh, other things in here as well deployments i deployed this for the first time so so i got my version id in here so for integrations you can integrate other stuff like neon 
baseline a bunch of other databases uh, they have provided that you can explore later so settings where you can add it delete or triggers events and bunch of other stuff that you can uh, explore on your own so this is pretty much it i guess for this today's tutorial thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed see you soon Tada, bye bye